In this video, I'm going to show you how to deal with formative constructs, and even more importantly, and more complicatedly, second order formative constructs in Smart PLS. So if we have a model like this, and we know that um, burnout from management is actually formative, there are a couple different ways we can handle it. Uh, the easiest way is to simply right click on it and do invert measurement model. That just turns the arrows inward and you can see it will make a difference. We'll run this, hit finish, and you'll see that uh, these values are not reflective. Um, if they are, they're terrible values. Um, and one way you can check on the importance of these values is to do a bootstrap and see if any of them are significant or if all of them are significant, hopefully. Here we go. Any T statistics here that are above 1. Point, or, yeah, 1.96 will be significant. So it looks like it's not very good as a formative construct. Well, it turns out that burnout from management is actually a second order formative construct. Now the way to handle this in Smart PLS is fairly complicated and you need to use a two-step approach. Here's how you do it. First, you uh, create three new first order constructs. One, two, three, because there are three dimensions of burnout. I'm just going to name each of these ambiguously. Let's see, uh, BMA, BMB, and BMC. So three different dimensions. Uh, and in dimension 1, or A, I guess, we have BM1 and 2. In dimension B, we have 3 and 4. Dimension C, we have 5 and 6. I'm going to go ahead and hide all this mess here. Hide show measurement model. And I'm going to hide these. Hide. Um, actually, I'm going to reverse these so that they look reflective again. So now we have each of the dimensions with their two indicators. And then this is going to become a second order construct with all, uh, all six of the indicators. You then model it as formative, meaning the line goes from the first order to the second order. And then let's run it. PLS algorithm, finish. And here we go. Now, <clears throat> these values look better, right? But you have this swamping out effect. Um, because each of these has two items that are contained inside the second order construct, uh, they perfectly explain the variance in this construct with a, you know r squared of 1.0, which swamps out any other potential uh, explanation for variance. So you'll see that ethical concerns has zero effect, basically, on burnout from management, as does unsupportive boss, whereas before they had like 0.3 and 0.4 effect. So what we need to do is save the latent, va uh, latent value scores, is that what they're called? Latent value scores, um, and then use those as the, in, uh, as the items in a second step for this analysis. Here's how you do it. You go to the default report, you go to the PLS calculation results and go to latent variable scores. It has produced scores for um, all the latent variables. I'm just going to hit Control A, Control C, and I'm going to go over to Excel, paste these in there. Now we don't need the first order um, ones, so I'm going to get rid of those, but we do need these second order ones. So I'm going to copy all of those, Control C, and now I need to open back up the data set that we're using, this uh, Sohana observed data set. That is over here. And insert them wherever is convenient. Insert copied cell cells, shift to the right, sure. And there they are. Now, let's see, save. Yes, I do want to save and go back to Smart PLS. 
and we're going to create a new model. New model. Just I just right clicked. Let's call this uh, latent variable scores gascination. LVS gas. Don't read too much into that. All right, and I need to update this data set. So I'm actually gonna just remove this data, remove resource, yes, and add a new one. It's just adding the same one back in, but with a new, um, with the new values. Go find it. There it is. Open. Now watch carefully. This is tricky. Notice it says it has problems. What you need to do is validate. Nope, that doesn't work. You need to choose a delimiter. These are comma separated values. Bada boom. Look, it worked. Hit validate. Okay. And now there's even another step. Notice there's still a red uh, question mark. You have to save it. Ha, ah, now it's green. Now we can use it. Yeah, that was a pain. All right, so now we open up this new model, LVS gas, by double clicking it. And you'll see we have these um, new variables that we stuck in there. Now it's alphabetical, so they're not all at the top like where we put them. It's just alphabetical. So let's create a new model. It's the same one as before, but uh, slightly different. I'll explain. Rename these real quick. This is burnout. This one was what? Ethical concerns. Unsupportive boss. Uh, satisfaction. Okay. Now we're going to just do the single indicator. These are the latent variable scores. We're going to drag those in to these new uh, constructs. Satisfaction with work. And unsupported boss. Okay, this one, this burnout from management, it was a second order formative construct in the first step of this analysis. Now it's a first order reflective, I suppose, construct, but it's taking into account those second order formative values. So we're good, we're covered. I'm going to go ahead and hide all of these um, just to clean it up a bit. And drag some value, or not drag, click, 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 and run it. And cross your fingers, and boom, look at that. All right, here are the accurate scores. When, take, when, when considering burnout um, as a second order formative construct. Pretty cool. And like always, you can run a bootstrap and see the t-statistics, see that they are significant. And that's how you deal with a second order formative construct. What a pain.